What's going on, my people? This is Accountability Day number 85. Rob Lightborn coming at you once again. Another day. Very tiring, feeling good though. Um, got through. You know what? I can't say I got through everything because I feel like I'm forgetting something. But workout wise, I got through that. Got through that. Um, there has to be something on the list because I got that feeling. I got that feeling. So I'm going to recheck my schedule and everything in a minute. But I'm not done for the day. So yeah, I can't necessarily say I got through everything. But today has been a good day. Um, strong day, feeling positive um, about it and everything. And I hope that everybody's on their business as well. Um, I hope that you're sticking to it, sticking to your goals and all that. Remember again, I mean, that schedule is important. You know what? I feel good about today because for maybe the last week or whatever, I've kind of been up and down on how I start the day. And even though I know what to do, Kind of just getting to it has been a struggle, but um, today I actually got right to it, and I, I was glad for that to just kind of happen automatically instead of me having to force myself. Now, don't get me wrong; sometimes you're gonna have to force it. Sometimes you're gonna have to push yourself, you know, and, and you know that's okay and everything. But it just feels good sometimes when you don't have to like pull teeth with yourself to actually get something done, you know, or get what you know you need to get done done. So. Um, I did feel good about that, and so that's why I'm feeling good. Um, something is nagging in the back of my head, like, yeah, you gotta do this, you gotta do this. So I gotta recheck everything as soon as I'm done here. But yeah, I hope everybody is on their goal and on their plan. Now remember, we just started the month. You know, today's just April 2nd. And so, you know, um, things to go over. I mean, do you have your schedule planned out? Do you know the first? few things that you're gonna do in the day. Like like I've told y'all before, I usually know the first five things I'm gonna I'm supposed to get done every day or whatnot. I usually have the first five things kind of planned out and everything. You know, so that type of stuff will help. That will definitely help. Now, you know, after that it's just a matter of putting yourself in a position to make it easier on yourself to execute within the morning. One of the things I struggle with most majorly, and I'm still struggling with it to this very day, getting enough sleep. That affects the way that, naturally, that affects the way that I'm gonna get up and attack the day. You know, that puts me in a position to where I'm gonna have to force it, you know, more so than, you know, actually getting up, feeling refreshed, revived, and all of that stuff. Yeah, I, I, for me to sit here and tell you I don't know what to do about it would just be a plain, flat out excuse. It'd be a lie. I just don't like it. I don't, I, I, I don't like to get to sleep until I just feel like I can't do it anymore. But the flip side is when I do go to sleep, I'm not sleeping long enough. So there is a level of responsibility that I have to take, you know, um, especially when my son, you know, my son is back in school now and everything. So when my son's going to school, yeah, I have to force myself to go to sleep by a certain time. And even then I struggle with that. And um, gotta, I, got, I gotta fix that. I gotta fix that. I gotta, um, I gotta be better at that. That's it. I really gotta be better at that. So, you know, these are the things that, um, these things can eventually trip you up, you know? Um, and for me, yeah, sleep is definitely one of them. I don't know what some of y'all may be dealing with, but I know for me, lack of enough sleep is definitely one of them where it's like, man, it changes the, it, it, it does have a certain degree of effect on how I um, execute throughout the following day. So yeah, you know, um, <clears throat> one thing I would definitely say is, you know, this is a good time, especially since this is the beginning of the month. It's always a good time. This is something that I do, and I can't believe I haven't really addressed this so far. But identify and strongly attack whatever your consistent weakness is. Not necessarily your biggest one, but your consistent weakness. The one that you constantly fall into. Mine has always been a lack of sleep. And man, mine has always been women. You know, I mean, I can easily be distracted by women, you know, and I've actually 
for the most part, I've been doing good on that. You know, five out of seven days type stuff. You know, I, I've I've definitely been good on that. And the best way to um, I know as far as the latter, as far as women are concerned, or as far as whatever your distraction is, because sleep for me isn't necessarily a distraction. It's just not something I want to do, but it's something I need. But like women or some sort of distraction like that, the best way to stay away from it, I've found, is to simply over plan in the vein of what you got to do. So that way it becomes, you know, every time you're making a choice to allow yourself to be distracted away, which is exactly what you're doing then at least there's some form of acknowledgement. And, and and pretty soon, if you really want something, then you're going to be straight up with yourself. Like, I really want to go over and see her or do this, but I know I got to do this because this is what I'm going for. That's helped significantly a lot because I used to be real bad. Now I'm just bad sometimes. <laughs> so, yo, that's it. God bless each and every one of you. Always respect time. I will see you tomorrow. God willing. Peace.